Hello friends, this video on electricity and circuits part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we saw a lot of criteria which are important for a circuit to be complete, for electric current to flow through the circuit and for the bulb to glow. But sometimes we observe that the bulb doesn't glow even if the circuit is complete, even if the circuit contains only conducting materials. Even then, the bulb doesn't glow. So everything is perfect with the circuit. The cell is connected in the right way with the bulb. The circuit doesn't contain any insulating materials. The, there is uh, no uh, breakage in the circuit. But still, the bulb doesn't glow. Now, do you know why that happens? That happens because something goes wrong inside the bulb. So let us try to understand the structure inside the bulb which actually glows because when the current flows through the circuit, the bulb glows. So what actually, which part of the bulb glows which gives us so much of light? So it is the filament of the bulb. So where is the filament? So this structure which you see inside the bulb which is made up of a metal is known as the filament of the bulb. And this filament is made up of a metal called tungsten. And the speciality of tungsten is that it has a very high melting point. So it has a high melting point because of which when it is heated, when electric current flows through it, the current heats up this filament. Now since it has a very high melting point, so it doesn't melt easily. Melting point means the point or the temperature at which any substance starts melting. Now since this metal has very high melting point, so it will not melt easily. So even if we heat it to a very high temperature, it doesn't melt. It doesn't melt but it start glowing. It start producing light and that's how we receive light. So that this is very important because of this reason tungsten is used in the filament of bulb because if we use any other metal as soon as current starts flowing through the filament that other metal will melt and when it melts obviously it will it will break. The filament will break and there will be no light produced. So that's why tungsten is specifically that filament which has been chosen to be the filament of bulb. So that's how the bulb works. Now sometimes what happens is the filament breaks. Now when the filament breaks, what happens? Now the circuit is broken. Basically when the current flows through the circuit, the current actually flows through this filament because of which the filament gets heated and that, that's how it produces light. But now the path is broken. So therefore there will be no heating up of the filament and therefore there will be no light production. So the bulb doesn't glow and this type of a bulb is said to be a fused bulb. You would have often heard that sometimes in your house when you switch it on the bulb doesn't glow and then uh, your parents they check the bulb and they say that the bulb is fused. So we need to change the bulb or we need to change the filament of the bulb. So that this is what is known as a fused bulb. So when the bulb is fused the filament is actually broken. <coughs> So when the bulb is fused, so here let's say this is a fused bulb. So since it is fused, so inside the how the circuit is complete, so the current will flow like this, right? So when the current flows through this, it also needs to flow through the circuit. Now when it is broken here, so the entire circuit becomes incomplete and therefore there is no current flow and therefore the bulb doesn't glow. So this is another important factor which is important for bulb to glow. So the bulb should not be a fused bulb. It should have a proper working filament. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.